Hello, good morning to all my dear students, all my African friends, and all dressmaking enthusiasts. Welcome to our episode two of our dressmaking made easy. But before we start, let us offer a short prayer to our God Almighty. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord God, where all blessings come, we praise and worship you. We ask forgiveness for all our iniquities that we do and that did not pleases you. Yet as sinners, you always forgive and continually bless us. We thank you for all that we have and all that we are. Thank you for giving us this day to reach each and every one. And may I ask you, dear Lord, to please bless everybody and that whatever we learn will be repelled to our respective students and friends. We pray that you keep everyone safe and their families. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Okay, my dear students, my dear friends, am I pretty today? Oh, I would like just to show you that this creation was one of the dresses I made when my second son, William Christopher, got married. And our theme was uh, 60s or 50s. So, and being practical, they opt to have just dresses instead of different gowns. So this is my dress in his wedding day. See? So it's up to you on how to you make yourself beautiful and creative by the dresses that you wear. And I would also like to radiate this beauty to all my students who is the most beautiful people in the world and the most beautiful people for me. Okay? So from this, no, you, you can you can have this kind of design through the patterns or the, from the basic patterns that we are going to make. But before that, I would like also first to thank all those who commented on my first episode. Ma'am Shoni Ubani, Dr. Shoni Ubani, Vice President of Patesco, thank you for your kind words. Well, I'm very sorry if you were sabi mo inaanto ka sa fractions. It's just a uh, uh, going back to the, our basics. I don't know, you're just kidding. And to Liberan Aral Jora, my students of 2008 to 2012. Alam ko si ano to eh, Lara uh, Liberan. No? And Miss Carol Anduyan, my classmates in high school, is also in the speaking class. Thank you for appreciating and I hope I can help you refresh your dressmaking skills. And of course, Viola Caramonte Nombre, my sister-in-law. I didn't realize that you really did mind my tips when you were starting your dress shop. And of course, I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to Dr. Estelita Camorungan, my former dean in TUP. Thank you for believing in my talent, ma'am, and my skills. And that's why I'm doing this to share so that others may also have the skills and talents, and they will also share this to uh, other people. Thank you for watching, and all those who joined and uh, reacted during the first episode, thank you very, very much. And I was trying to remember all the faces of my class, my students, but I really can't remember the name registers, but the faces cannot. So I have to check on the fa Facebook. Good, we have Facebook. And I'm very happy to see that they are you now uh, well off, beautiful and healthy, just like me. It's, it, it's, yeah, it's just okay. Uh, evolution of life. Okay, so before we start with our lesson, let us first have a short review. The past lessons that we took or we studied last time, we talked on how to take the body measurements or read the tape measure using the one half. So all you have to remember is all numbers in the tape measure should uh, be multiplied by two and the half in each tape measure will be read as one inch. And for the one-fourth, uh, you multiply all numbers in the tape measure by four, and all the one-fourth in the tape measure will be read as one inch. So it's just a matter of practicing, okay? And then we showed you the different uh, position of the different body parts. No? We have here, the we, we start with the back, the body measurements. Of course, do not forget that you have to tie the waistline with the thread, and then you have here your shoulder, you have your cross back, 
you have your bust or back figure, huh? that is for the bust measurement. And then we have for the front figure, we have the am I seen? Okay, we have the bust tie first, and then the front figure up to the waistline, and then you have the chest, you have the bust distance. The bust line, be sure that you get the, even the fullest part here of the bust. Remember, we have different figures, and let us bear with those uh, figures that are heavily built. So you have to include the area here. If you see them a little bit bigger, then we measure it parallel to the floor, just like this. So this is very important because this is where you will get your measurements for your basic pattern, okay? And then you let your tape pressure move around and then you get the waistline. Again, you put two your fingers and then the hips, the fullest part of the hips, including the buttocks. Uh, is this in Christian? Can you see it? Okay. All right. So be sure that you move your tape measure up and down. Okay. If not, so you have to adjust until you have a comfortable measurement, okay? So we have the sleeve length, the girth, all right. So these are just past, part of our review. And most of you have already um, taken this, so it's just a sort of refreshing up. All right, for today, I am going to show you uh, how to draft the basic pattern using the measurements that you have taken last time. All right. The measurements of Mary Ann, my assistant, can this be seen, my dear? Okay. So these are the measurements. Okay, these are the measurements. All right, the objectives of my, my lecture for today, of course, we have here using the use the different body measurements in making the basic front and back patterns. Draft the back and front pattern by this correctly. Now we call this as the body's pattern. And then follow the instruction in drafting the basic patterns or the body's patterns accurately. Uh, I'm using, of course, the Bloom's taxonomy. Yan ang ginagamit natin, di ba? So ito lang naman is for us to be guided on what we're going to do for this day. So we use the measurements of Mary Ann. I have it here. Yung inyong mga, mga measurements, do it this way. So you will see, and this one here are the measurements. And this one here should be the names of your client. So every measurement under the names of your client, it will be easier for you to follow. And then have this compiled so that when they come back again, you have already their own measurements, okay? So we start with drafting the basic pattern. All right. Uh, I would like you to prepare your tools and equipments. Here are your markers. No, be ready with your markers. Uh, if possible, have different colors so that you will identify the front and the back. No? These are just uh, cheap um, pencils. You have to invest also. Colored pencils, of course, the ordinary pencil. You have. You should have your sharpener, of course. Also a paste because there are instances in erasing your patterns. Sometimes you tear it off, so you have to have the paste ready. And of course, a ball pen that will uh, permanently mark no? some of the important notes in your pattern. Okay? Then you have the L square, which is our uh, tools for today. And then the hip cur French curve. We have here the French curve, the wooden and the metal one. No? It, it's both the same. Okay? And of course, your, our tape measure. Okay? To start with, no, to start with our basic pattern, we have to draw a horizontal and vertical line. Oh, I forgot. You can use pattern paper or this Manila paper. So we are all we are all familiar with this, especially the teachers, because we keep on using this as our visual aids. No, uh, long before we have the um, PowerPoint. But still, it's good to have um, materials that are like this so that your students can uh, go back to it every now and then. Okay? 
And then, of course, we have the pattern maker. My pattern making. Ay, so pattern paper, I mean. Ako parang, ninirerbas ako sa inyo pag nakikita ko kayong ang gaganda at nakatitig sa akin. Anyway. Okay. Now. We start first with the back pattern. Okay. For the sake of um, demonstration, I will draw here on the board no? so that you can see it properly. And then if those who are interested, you can join me doing your own measurements. Or you can use your table or you can use it, you can lie down the floor. Any which way you want, it's all right, right? Now, in your pattern paper, if you'll be using your pattern paper, for example, this one. Yan, gagamitin niyo ito. Right. Etong inyo, yan. Kuya. Kung itong pattern paper ninyo, yan. Kita, kita ko kuya. Can they see me? Okay. If you're using this pattern paper, you measure from this edge, one and a half muna. Oh, one and a half dito. Dito okay lang kahit wala. Basta dito one and a half. Because we will be using that part later. Okay? So draw a horizontal line. Then we will use this as your vertical line. Okay? So punta tayo sa whiteboard. Okay. Ayan. So, ang ating, and then, sa so, baba ito ha, ito ating vertical line. Ayan. Okay? Now, this will be your starting point. Okay. Okay? Um, kindly focus first, kind of that. Procedure. Kita nyo? Anyway, this will be, um, my son will be in charge on how you will get this copy. Yeah. This are the procedure. Yeah. So, we first draft the back pattern line. This is back pattern, no? Uh, na, na -slide, na this is back. Sorry po. Back, okay? In the back pattern, we're going to use letters. Huh? We're going to use letters. And when we draft the front pattern, we're going to use numbers. Huh? So that it will not be difficult for you to um, look for the points that you need in this uh, method. No? Yan. So we have here, your. this will be the actual... Um, picture of your front and back pattern. Alright, I, I would like also to mention uh, for your information that we have two methods of pattern drafting. Uh, two methods of pattern drafting. We have the flat pattern making and we have the drape method. No? The flat pattern method and the drape method. When you talk of flat pattern method, this is the one that a constitute flat pattern method. We use pattern paper, we use the measurements that we take, and then we uh, come up with this kind of pattern. For the... Ay, daw sabi ni She Value Spin. Ah, oh, Miss Value Spin. Okay, thank she. you, thank you. She, she, oh, sister. Okay. Now, then, for the draping method, we use a bust form and we use fabric. Commonly, for the drape method, we use a soft fabric. You have to drape the fabric on the figure of your client, or if you have enough resources, you have to come up or get a bust form that fits your client. You have to custom-made that. 
and uh, it is a little bit expensive. And of course, the charts for draped dresses are expensive also. So you have to put it on the figure itself, and then you put all the pleats and shearings or whatever to conform to the human figure. So that is draping. Huh? This one, this will also conform to the human figure because of the darts that you see here. Okay? So, for this method, we will be using the flat pattern because as beginners, we start with flat pattern. Now, some, some of my students will tell me, Hey, mom, how about those dressmakers that do not make, do not make patterns but they can cut fabric? Yes, these are talents. But those are for easier or simple designs. If they are into complicated designs, they too will also have to make a pattern. No? Lahat naman talaga magagaling sa pattern. Kung talaga masabihin natin magaling kasi di na nagpa-pattern because these are uh, simple designs and maybe through the years of sewing, they have established that skills already. But for us as beginners, we have to start with the flat pattern. Okay? Now, so going back, so we have two methods, ha? the flat pattern designing or the flat pattern making and the drape method. Alright, so going back, nakikita na ito na? Going back, so you have here, you drawn a horizontal and vertical lines. At the edge, no, you mark that as letter A. Okay? A will be your starting point. So, B from A is one half of an inch. Okay? Like actually, you can use your, your L square. Lalo pag malinaw, no? You can use your L square. Okay, one half of an inch. And that is B. Alright. So, Okay? And then after that, you measure one and one fourth. This is your letter C. So, ilipat mo ngayon dito yan. So, one and one fourth mo. Para lang maging straight. Kasi I'm not sure. Hindi doon kung dito kung dito ay straight. So, yan. No? So, kailangan So, dito natin tape measure kasi mukhang malabo ang L square. So, one and one fourth. Yeah. Ulitin natin to. Kung one and one fourth nga siya. Ayan, mababa. Okay, one and one fourth. Ayan ang iyong letter C. Okay? And then, you connect. Or, not connect, but draw a straight line. a straight line. Direct, habaan nyo lang ng konti ha? Kasi we will be using this later for the front pattern. Habaan lang. Okay? And then for A, B, C, then D. D from C. No? You will notice that my letters here on the left side are A, B, C, D, E, F. This is the where you're going to. No? This, this area here is where you are going to, and this part here, where from, huh? or from, tama ba? Okay. To and from. Okay. Kaya makita nyo rito sa labas, ang mga sunod-sunod na letra. At yung dito naman sa loob, ito yung pinanggalingan. Huh? Okay. So, C and A is 1 and 1 fourth inch down. So, C from A is 1 and 1 fourth inch down. Now, D from C, okay, this one. Dito na papasok yung ating sinasabing one third of bust measure plus one and one fourth of an inch. So, ang bust measure niya ay 39 and one fourth. So, 39 and one fourth divided by two ilan? Yan? Yeah. O, mga anak, 39 and one fourth lang divided by two. Using your tape measure. Okay? So, 32, 632, okay, 17 is times 4. Huh? Na, 17. Ay, sorry, 1 fourth pala. Na, may mix up ako sa 1 half. So, we are looking for 39 and 1 fourth. So, 32 is 8. 32, uh, 36 is 9. 36, 
37, 38, 39, and 1 fourth. So, 39 is 9 and 3 fourths, plus 1 fourth, that will be 9 and, para malapit, 9 and 7 eighths. So, ay, teka, again, again, sorry, sorry, erase, erase, 1 half pala ng 39, because we are looking for 1 third of your bust measure. Na po si ma'am, nag-senior moments na. Okay. So, one half of 39 is, nearest is 19. Tama? 19. Because 20 is 40. One half of 39 is 38, 39, and one fourth. That is 19 and 5 eighths. 19 and 5 eighths. Balikan nyo nga, kasi baka naguluhan na rin kayo sa akin. Magulo na si Mama. Okay. 39 and 1 fourth divided by 2 equals 19 and 5 eighths. Okay? Kasi 2 ang hinahanap natin. Now, this 19 and 5 eighths will be seen in your L square under the 1 third or under the, or in the long arm. Yes? In the long arm, so you will get 19, oh my, where's my salami? pala nahihilo si ma'am eh, na wala yung kanyang salaming. Okay? 19 and 5 eighths, so this is 18, 19, and 20. So, 5 eighths, alam naman ninyo, I told you, master the position of your fraction. So, 19 and 5 eighths is between uh, 19 and 20, malapit niya siya doon. So, 19, so this is 1 half, 5 eighths, okay, ito siya. Kailangan natin mga punta eksakto ha? 19 and 5 eighths. Okay, yan. Then, dito siya sa dulo. Okay. Now, for the back pattern, we do not add 1 and 1 fourth down. Kasi wala naman tayong bust sa likod. No? We only do that, we only add 1 and 1 fourth sa front pattern. Okay? So, this is your letter D. Okay? Tama, tama. <laughs> Nakikita ba ako? Tama. Ay, kita naman. One and one. Tama, correct. Naku, si ma'am talaga na hindi yun na. Kasi, wait, wait ganda, ganda, ganda ka, naman ako. Estorbo, uh, your shot express rider has arrived. Ngayon na nakatawa. Ang shabby ko na dumating, ang gulo. No? Okay. Again, sorry, 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 sorry. No? So, we get one-third of the bust measure. Bust measure, one-third of the bust measure. Plus 1 and 1 fourth. Tama. Yung pala sinasabi ko, yung sa paharap. Na? So, after taking the 1 and 1, uh, and after taking the bust measure, uh, 1 third of your bust measure, so ito na siya, 19 and 5 eighths, you add 1 and 1 fourth. Yan, yan. So, this is now your letter D. Excited, para excited akong magturo sa inyo eh. Yan, D. So, ito na yung D. So, getting the one-third of the bust measure, that is 19 and 5 eighths under your L square, uh, dito sa one-third fraction, ito na siya, and then you add one and one-fourth, that's the time you mark it D. Okay. So, tapos, kunin muna natin, kunin muna natin ang haba nito, yan, silan to. C, 7, and 3 fourths. So, ilipat muna natin dito. 7 and 3 fourths. Okay, kaya erase natin ito para hindi kayo mahilo. Okay? Tanggalin muna natin ito, ha? Okay, yan. Ito siya. Okay? Yan. So, ngayon, i-co-connect nyo ngayon ito. Okay? I-co-connect ngayon yan. Diretso lang muna. Habaan nyo lang papunta muna doon, no? Kasi itong guhit na to ay gagamitin natin sa front area ng bust line. Okay? 
So, yan. Now, sa letter E, we get in the middle of C and D. So, ano mong sukat yan, hatiin mo lang sa gitna. At yun ang inyong letter E. Okay? 7 and 3 fourths. 6, 7, 8. 1 half, 1, 4, 3 fourths. Ayan. So, 3 and 7 eighths. Lipat natin uli dito. 3 and 7 eighths. Ayan. And then again, we we connect these two points. Okay. Yung aking fans na kiting kuting, nakikin, ah, uh, aking fans na kuting nakikisama. Kaya maingin. Alright. So, this is your letter E. Okay. Ito ang uh, mahirap sa live. May aso, may pusa, may mga fans to adapted kit. Andito sa tabi ko. Akala nila kung nanay nila. Okay. A, E. So, we have a, your B, then your C, your D, and then the middle of C and D is your E. Gets? Okay. Now, for the F, your F from A is your back figure. The back figure is 16. So, we measure from A to F. Baka maapakan ko yan. 16. Mapataw ko yan, ha? Baka mapunit ako. So, back figure is 16. So, again, we get here para diretsyo lang po. Ang purpose lang na inuulit ko is para diretsyo. Kasi minsan, tumatabing eh pag ginamitan ko ng L square. So, again, guhit tayo. Okay. So, this is your F. So, A, one half is B, one and one fourth is C, C and D is one third of your bus plus one and one fourth, E is your middle of C and D, and F is your back figure from A down here, it's F. Okay? So, the next letter is G. G is from A, two and three fourths of an inch. and three-fourths of an inch. Yeah. Okay, this is your letter G. Alright. For your H, the next letter of G is H, right? So H from A is one half of the shoulder measure. Remember that when we measure the shoulder, we were asked to pass at the backbone. Here, no? At the knee. No? Knee. Okay. So, the shoulder is 15 and 1 half. And to get that, get 1 half of 15 and 1 half and should be taken from points A. So, ano kalahati ng 15 and 1 half? 7 and 1 fourth. So, from A, 7 and 1 fourth. Ayan. Okay? So, this is your H. Right? Mamaya tayo mag-coconnect para mayroong surprise, right? And then for your I from point E is one half of your across back. And across back measure here is 15. So one half of your 15 is 14, 15, 7 and 1 half. Huh? Across shoulders, 15 or half. 14, 15, and 1 half. Ito pala yan. Ayan. Mula ko na sukat. Ayan. Okay? Paano ko napansin? Kasi ito yung malayo, ito malalim. Wala namang shoulder na pati gano'n. No? In the later, we will see that. Alright, so this is letter I. Tama? H, I. Okay. For points E, uh, H, I, J pala, J. J now is one-fourth of the bust measure. So your bust measure is 39 and one-fourth. So what is one-fourth of 39 and one-fourth? Ayan. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 
And you are asked 39 and 1 fourth. So this is 1 half, this is 1 fourth. So yeah. So sabi ko ka nung last lesson, dun ka na sa malapit na fraction. So 9 and 7 eighths. Okay? So you mark here 9 and 7 eighths. Ito yung sinasabi ko na wala tayong idadagdag na 1 and 1 fourth kasi sa bus, wala naman pong uh, boobs. Huh? Huh? I mean, sa back, walang boobs. Ako si ma'am, excited talaga. Sa back, walang boobs. Kaya, sa back pattern, we do not add one and one fourth. Okay? So, this is point J. So, from point D to J, you get one fourth of your bust measure. Okay? And then, for K, K, kasi sunod sa J is K, from point F, you get one-fourth of the waist measure plus one and one-fourth. This one and one-fourth will be for the bust. Okay. But while doing the pattern using the measurement, remember that we have different body measure. Diba? Body measurement. So, dun sa aking assistant, medyo lumalabas na malaki-laki yung, uh, yung waist dun sa bust. So, I have to adjust the one and one-fourth. Ginawa ko na lang siya ng 1 inch. Anyway, sa dart naman sa likod, pwede naman siya ng maliit. So, from F to K, we get 1 fourth of the waist plus 1 and 1 fourth. Yun ang standard. Pero pag medyo makita niyo malaking siya na maalalabas dun sa bus, gawin niyo lang siya ng 1 inch or even smaller. Okay? So, ang 1 fourth measure niya ay 13, uh, 35 ang waistline. So, 32... Yan, 32, ang kita. Malapit ba? Malapit sa nila. 32, 33, 32, 33, 34, 35. So, it is 8 and 3 fourths. Okay? 8 and 3 fourths. Unin nyo muna 8 and 3 fourths. Yan. Plus 1 and 1 fourth dapat. Diba? Eh, medyo masyadong lalabas to ba sa ano? Kasi talaga namang ganun, no? Pero sa likod, pwede nating laruin. Sa harap tayo, hindi pwede maglaro. No? Because we have the bus. So, ang gagawin natin siya 1 inch. Para naman medyo may 40 sa likod. Okay? So, this is your waist measure letter K. Okay. K. Sige, bu bu uh, kum uh, guhitan muna natin para makita nyo ang pitsura. Okay? So, join G and H. Ayan. G and H. And then J and K. Alright. Now, for the neckline, ito yung B mo at saka G, yan ang back neckline. Ayan. Ayan, ha? Now, be sure na dito sa inyong basic pattern, hindi nakaganyan, ha? Hindi nakaganon. Nakatulis. Kasi pag binuksan mo yan, gaganon yan. So, meron ka rito ang kanto. So, mali yun. Nakikita nila itong pinag-doorway ko? Okay. So, dito sa neckline, kailangan soft lang siyang curve na doon. Hindi tumutulis. So, that's why, you have, for beginners, use the French curve. Pero pag mara, lagi na kayo nagpa-pattern, sanay na inyong kamay, sanay na inyong mata, kahit wala nang French curve, shoop, galing, diretso ang, ang neckline. And then for the armhole, you connect H and I. Yan. Minsan pwedeng dire-diretso. No? Minsan naman, kailangan lang ng dahan-dahan. Depende yan dun sa sukat na lalabas. Okay? Tapos ito. sisipatin nyo rin na kailangan maganda yung inyong armhole. Ato, mula sa tingin ko ay masyado mababaw. So, adjust natin ang konti. Ayan. Okay, ayan. Diba? So, para maging maganda yung armhole. Kasi minsan, 
para maging magandang armhole. Okay? So, yan na ang kabuuan na inyong back. Pero may kulang pa yan. Ano sa palagay inyong kulang? Okay, very good. Dark. Oh, the waist dark. Right? So, ang waist dark ay okay, this one. Okay, kikita ito. Kita niyo yan? Ito ang waist dark. So, how to take this? Ito yan. So, next letter is L. So, from D to L, one half of the bus distance. No? One half of the bus distance. Okay, balik pa ko dito. Na. <laughs> Yung aking boom up. <laughs> boom man. Yan. So, one half of the bus distance is seven. So, you have there, one half is seven, three and a half. So, this is letter. Ano yung letter natin? L. Ayan, L. You have to square this down. So, para sa ganong straight, sumulit na lang ulit dito. 7. And then, connect. Okay. Connect yung muna. Para hindi kayo na bibitin. So, connect muna yan. Ayan. L and this is Oh, yan. Square down muna, ha? Alright. For your letter M, from here, measure 1 inch. Okay? Mula dyan, measure ka ng 1 inch. So, yan ang letter M mo. And this one now is your letter N. Huh? Tapos, from here, 5 eighths. Since ito ay 1 inch lang, gagawin lang natin siyang 1 half, 1 half. Huh? Manap yan, manap doon, N, O, E. N, O, E. Kung ano yung dinagdag nyo rito, siya rin ang ahati nyo dito. No? Kasi yung pag, pag nagdagdag kayo ng 1 inch, tapos 1 and 1 for na dito, sisigip pa ang waistline ninyo. So kung 1 inch yung dinagdag, dapat 1 inch lang din ang nalito. And then that's the time you connect M, O, E. So, this is now your back pattern. Madali. Madali lang. Huh? Just a matter of, again, sabi nga ni Dr. Asidaw, Hi, Dr. Asidaw. Right practice makes better. Huh? Right practice makes a person better. Okay. Kasi nung una ko sabi ko lang, practice makes you better. So, sabi niya, dagdagan ng right practice makes you better. Okay, so ito ngayon ang ating back figure. So going back, your A is your starting point. B from A is one half. Anak, makikita ito? Ano sabi? Your A is your starting point. B from A is one half of the measure. C from A is your one and one fourth measure. C to D is your one third bust line plus one and one fourth using the L square. And then E is the middle of C and D. And then F from A is your back figure. And then G from A is your two and three fourths measure. And this is for the neckline. And then H from A is your one half of the shoulder. Then I from E is one half of your across back. And J from D is your one-fourth of the bust line. And K from F is your one-fourth of the waistline plus one inch or one and one-fourth. And then DL from D is your one-half of the bust distance. Then you square it down. Then M from L is one inch. And then this one here, mark it N. And then N to O or O from N is one-half. P from N is one half, then connect, and this is your back dart. So, wala pa yung ilaw. Okay. So, malinaw po ang back pattern. Now, I ask you to get five body measurements. Practicing nyo po yan. No? Then, after that, our next meeting, we will discuss the sleeve and the skirt. Alright? So, we move on 
we go to the front figure. Hindi lang natin bibiglain kasi baka next meeting wala na akong audience na takot na sa pattern making, no? So we just have front and back for this episode. Right? Now, tanggalin ko muna ito kasi gagawin ko muna ako rito. Lipat natin siya rito para meron tayo yung guide. Kahit sabihin natin we are into modern presentation strategies, hindi pa rin po dapat mawawala yung mga visual aids na ganito. Kasi ito po yung babalik-balikan ng mga bata. Kaya nung ako'y nagtuturo, ang dami-dami kong ganito. No? Lalo nung nasa Abada High School ako, nung first year teaching, napakasipag kong gumawa ng visual materials. And when I, go to, when I went to TUP, kasi nailipat ako doon, I did not bring this along as, as I thought na madali naman gumawa. So, kaya yung mga teachers, so na yun, mga teachers na pasama ko sa Abada High School, tuwang-tuwa. Only to find out when I was in TUP, I, I will be handling garments all throughout my life. So again, I have to make different visual material. So at least when you teach, hindi kayo hirap because your students can keep on coming back to your visual material. Kahit sabihin natin modern-modern na, we still have to go to the basic. Ayan ang sinasabi ko, maihay ang aso sa kapitbahay namin. No? Kapitbahay ba namin or my girl? Okay, so, we transfer this first. Okay. Alright, ayan. So, so, we start with another line, no? Be sure, ito yan, diretsin natin ito rito. Alright. Usually, when I when I draft the basic front and uh, back pattern, the front pattern starts at the side. Kaya lang kasi pag ginugunting na ng mga sudyante ko, na mga problema sila to transfer the points here to the other side. So, ang ginawa ko, just create a new line and then using this line C, line E, and line D for our front pattern. Okay? So, i-direction natin siya rito. Dapat ang gamit natin. Madang na-pressure ba Madang na-pressure ba ito? Para lang maluwag ang ating Para lang maluwag ang ating room May may room lang ako for the front pattern uh, Rose pa niya kung konting tape Para hindi ko gagawin Ang ating angel Interesado rin kung matuto si Rose Kaya kahit malayong pinanggalingan Biyahe ko gamak Biyahe ko gamak So, we extend this line here. Yan yung points yan. Kaya nag-diretso din yan, ha? Yan, diretso yan. Kasi gagamitin natin yan for our front pattern. So, Pantay-pantay ba? Ayan. Huh? So, this one also, kailangan din natin yan. Kasi ito yung edge ng tape measure. Mamaya, may sekreto ko ipapakita sa inyo. Eh, sikreto yung papakita para maging maganda ang lapat may show din yung sa inyong damit. Okay. So, we start here as number one, uh, our starting point. Okay. One. Two from one is three and one half of an inch. Okay. So, gamitin natin yung ating ruler. Pwede naman. Three and one half. Ayan. So, this is point two. Okay. And then, three from one is our... Uh, bust height measure. Huh? Teka, nagulo. 1 to 2 is front. 1 to 2 is 3 and 1 half measure. And 1 to 3 is your bust height measure. Ayan. So, ang bust height measure natin ay 11. So, from points 1, from points 1, to 
another color. Okay. So this is one. This is two. This is three. And this is four. Okay. Malina, what do you like? One, two, three, four. One is your starting point, just like your A as your starting point. And then two from one is two, eh, or three and one half. And then three from one is your bust height measure. And four from one is your front figure measure. Okay. So, itong front figure measure ay kay uh, nakalagay ay 17. Ilipat din natin siya rito ulit para straight line lang. Ha? For the purpose na maging straight line siya. Okay. So, again. Okay, tayo. So, mapapansin ninyo na yung ating lines C, E, and D ay in-extend lang dito sa front. Kasi itong ating front, front pattern, and this is your back pattern. Okay. So, in-extend natin ng line C, line E, at line D. Huh? Pero sa line 4, yan ay kuha natin sa front figure. Okay, so mapapansin ninyo, mas maikli ang back sa front. Bakit? Sige nga, bakit? Okay, very good. Because of the bust figure sa harapan. Now, kung wala kang bust sa harapan at ang likod mo'y malaki, natural, mas mahabang back kaysa sa front. Okay? Now, dyan nga yung lumalabas ang kagali niya ng isang mananahi o sa isang teacher kung paano ituturo sa bata, nalalabas na maganda pa rin ang damit na kahit hindi ang figure ay kagandahan. Okay? Now, so going back, we are now into 0.5. 0.5 from 1 is 2 and 3 fourths, no? So, katulad ng G and A, 2 and 3 fourths din po ito. Kasi, ito ang neckline. No? 2 and 3 fourths. So, this is your number 5. And your number 6 yeah. is also one half of the shoulder from point 1. So, ang shoulder natin ay 15 and 1 half. So, from point 1, 14, 15 and 1 half, ito po yan siya. Okay? So, this is your point 6. Okay? And then, from line E, na? from line E, Pupunin natin ang one half of the chest measure. That is 13. So, dito siya ngayon. Okay, 12, 13, at siya. And, so, this is 7. And then, from line D, na dinerecho natin, one fourth of the bust measure plus one and one fourth because we have to give room for our bust area. Okay? So, kung bust niya ay 39 and one fourth, Okay, we get 39 and 1 fourth. 36, 37, 38, 39, 1 half 1 fourth, ayan. Plus 1 and 1 fourth, ayan po. This is your number 8. Huh? Now, ang ginamit kong sukat at ginamit kong model ay yung talagang katawan na common. Huh? Although we can choose a sexy person, pero sometimes para napaka-idealistic ng pattern. Kaya lang, mas marami tayong na-encounter na hindi ganun ka-sexy. So, yan ang kaya kong ginamit yung figure na you usually see. 
and 6, we join 5 and 6 or we connect 5 and 6. Connect 5 and 6. Ayan. And then connect 8 and 9. Okay. And then, using the hip curve again, we connect the neckline. And then we connect the arm hole. So, mapapansin ninyo, mas malalim ang arm hole. Ay, sorry. Ang chest sa back kaysa sa front. Okay? Kasi ito yung... Yeah. So, hahabuin nyo lang yan. So, bakit mahaba? Sasabihin ba, bakit ang haba-haba niyan? Because of the bus figure. So, ito ngayon ang pinaka-basic pattern. Please remember, we're just doing the basic pattern. If you want to make designs based on the basic pattern, we add whatever designs that you like. Okay? So, ito. Anong kulang? Ah, may kulang? May kulang? Alright. The bust uh, or the dart of the front pattern. And on the front pattern, we have a side dart. Okay? How to take the side dart? Ito po yan. Alright? Itong tree ninyo, no, itong tree, i-stretch, i-straight nyo muna or i-draw across ninyo. One and three fourths siya. One and three fourths. So, yan. Guhit muna tayo ng ganyan. Para at least, meron tayo yung dye. Yan. So, paabutin natin dito kasi gagamitin natin later, no? And then, we get one half of the bus distance. So, ang kanyang bus distance ay... 7. Kung ang 1 up and 7 ay 3 and a half. Square down. Kunin natin uli rito. Para sigurado pantay. Then we square down. Ayan ang square down. Ha? Square up, pa ganun. Square down, pa ganyan. Right. And then, we we add 1 and 1 fourth here, right? So divide mo yung 1 and 1 fourth, magiging tig 5 8 sila. 5 eighths ka dyan, 5 eighths ka dito, and then connect. Connect. Yan. Okay? So, pagmamarkahan natin, pwede ka malito, this is 10, 10, this is 11, and this is 12, or 13. Ayan. Okay? Now, ito ang ating waistline dart. Now, how do we get the side dart? Okay. The side dart is a measure the difference of 8 and 9 and J and K. So, we measure J and K first. Ayan ha? Measure J and K. So, lumalabas dito na 6 and 3 fourths. So, lipat ka dito, 6 and 3 fourths. Okay, yan. Yung sobra na yan, yan, yung sobra na yan, susukatin ninyo, o 1 inch, ililipat nyo rito. Okay. Yes? So, sukatin ito, at ilagay doon, 
yung sobra, susukatin niyo ulit at ilalagay dito. Okay? Tapos, paano magiging side dart? Ano naman siyang dulo, di ba? So, from here, oh, malikahan natin muna ito ng number. So, hindi malito. So, 13. Dito, una, kuha kayo ng 1 inch. Huh? 1 inch. Yan. Huh? Tapos, connect mo ngayon yan. Okay? Oh, hindi kayo malito. Ito yung gawin mong 14. Actually, dapat ito muna, 14. Tapos, ito ay 15. Balik. Tapos ito ay 16. Okay. So, yan na po ang inyong front and back pattern. Now, if you want to have different position of darts, itong side dart ang inyong gagalawin to transfer it to the shoulder para magkaroon ka ng shoulder waistline dart. Huh? Kung gusto mo naman ng armhole waistline dart, you transfer this side, this dart here, to your armhole at magkakaroon ka ng armhole waistline dart. How to go about it? On the next episode, watch for it sa transferring of darts to different position using the pivot method and the slash and spread method. Okay? So, now, ang sabi ko sa inyo kanina, may tip ako sa inyong basic pattern na magbuka siya talagang uh, pattern na ready for using in making different designs. Now, have you ever wondered why some of your dresses, every time you walk, you have to push it forward? So, habang naglalakad, ah, oh, tulak ng tulak sa harapan. It's because on the shoulder seams. Now, etong sikreto dyan. Yung front pattern ninyo, ibababa nyo ng 5 eighths. Okay? Baba ng 5 eighths. Sa mga ready-to-wear dresses, hindi lahat may ganito klaseng shoulder. Sa halap ang mga mass production, okay? Baba mo ng 5 eighths yan. Dati kasi 1 half, pero nasyari napakababa. So, I use 5 eighths. Okay? Pagagamit ko ng 1 half, napapansin ko, parang mababaw pa rin. So, I use 5 eighths. Yan. Okay. Broken line line natin para hindi kayo malito. Ayan. Okay. Yan. Yan. Tapos, yung 1, 5 eighths na yan, tinatanggal natin dyan, ililipat natin dito. Okay? So, itataas natin dito. 5 eighths. Tapos, buhit. Okay? Broken line lang natin. Para hindi kayo magulumihanan. Yan. Kasi, pagbilis kayo magulumihanan. Okay? Para ang laki ng 5 eighths ko sa isa. Yung aking, ano, yung aking ball pen, masyado mataba. Dito natin, para maging idealistic. Huh? Kasi kailan ideal ang measurements. When it comes to body measurements, kailangan ko talaga sa ito. Ayan, 5 eighths. 5 eighths ka dyan. Huh? So, umpisa lang po mahirap, huwag kayo mag-alala. So, ang mangyayari ngayon dyan, ito na magiging sewing line ninyo sa front at ito magiging sewing line sa back. Now, paano naman siya magiging kurbada sa taas? Kasi nakahang pa yan. No? So, ito, alam ninyo yung hugis niya, di ba? So, kunyari, lalagyan nyo lang dito. Yan, yan, yan. So, yung hugis lang niya, lilipat nyo lang dito. At saka ito, kunin nyo muna yung suka. No? Para ma-determine nyo yung dito, Kunin nyo yung sukat. So, ito sukat na to, yan. Let us say, 4 and 3 eighths. Dito siya dapat ilalagay ulit. 4 and 3 eighths. Ayan. Ngayon, ay, sorry. 4 and, 4 and 7 eighths pala, kaya pala maliit. 4 and 7 eighths. Ayan. Okay, ayan. Diba? So, ngayon, i-adjust nyo ito ng konti. Ayan. So, pag ginupit nyo yan, ito ang gugupitin ninyo, at saka yung taas, 
Yan, pag ganon, pag ganyan, papunta doon. Ito naman, dito, dito, yan, dito, dito, dito. Pero isa pang tip. Pag ginupit ninyong pattern ninyo, isasara nyo yung mga darts. Kasi kung hindi nyo isasara ang darts, at dinaretsin nyo yung gupit, at tinahin nyo siya, may butas ang damit ninyo. No? Hindi masasamang matahe. Ano? O ito. Kaya ako nagawa ng ganito. Para pakita ko sa inyo paano paggupit. Okay? So, yan. Okay. Yan. Nakita ninyo na mayroong broken line. So, pag ginupit nyo yan, you have to close You have to close the dart first. Close the dart. Yan. And then, reconnect F and K. So, magkakaroon kayo ng new line. Connect F and K once you have closed your dart. At ito ay nanggugupitin ninyo. Huh? So, pag ginupit nyo yan, meron kayo lalabas. Gupitin natin. Kasi, alam nyo naman, mas naintindihan pag nakikita. Kaya minsan, hindi natin masisisi si Doubting Thomas. Huh? Right. So when you cut this, yeah. 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 Oh, see. Papapan si niyo. Nagkaroon siya ng sobra dito. Kaya pag tinahin niyo yan, tinahin niyo, tinahin. Yeah. Tani sa likod. Let us say, tinahin nyo yung dart. Yan. So, itong tahin nyo ng dart na yan, masasama lahat. So, wala kang butas. Pero pag dinerecho mo siya, dinerecho yan, mayroon kang space dito. Pag nagtahi ka, hindi siya masasama. Ha? So, yan ang sekreto yan para yung inyong damit ay kumpleto. Kasi anyway, diretso pa rin naman yan eh. O, sinara nyo lang yung dart. So, same through with this area here. Isasara nyo yan. Isasara nyo ito ng ganun. And then, reconnect 8 and 9. So, ito yung inyong new line. Yan ay nanggugupitin ninyo. At ulit din dito, ganun din. Sara nyo. Connect ulit ang 4 and 9. Ito yung inyong new line. So, dyan kayo na yung sa new line magugunting. Okay? Na, na gets ninyo? Right. Now, dun sa 5 measurements na sinabi kong practice ninyo, gawin nyo ito para makita ninyo kung saan area kayo nahihirapan at anong problema. And then as you go along, gaganda na rin ang inyong neckline, gaganda rin ang armhole, tapos magiging okay na rin ang inyong pattern making. Now, once your patterns are now perfect, no, with the complete drawing, measurements, and the shapes are all correct, you can put this in a cardboard, no, na medyo matigas, na yung mundo may malambot-lambot na cardboard, yung medyo matigas na Pwede nyo i-dikit kasi yun yung gagamitin pattern every now and then. Although sa cardboard, as you use them often, nagkakaroon siya ng flat dun sa may likod, sa may edges. No? Kaya minsan nasisira yung measurement. Ako ang ginagawa ko, nililipat ko siya sa makapal na pilon, yung puti. No? Kahit matagal na matagal, malambot-lambot na si pilon, pero yung pa rin ang kanyang measurement kasi hindi nababawasan yung edges. Huh? Okay. So, this is now nasa video, mo, paano magiging blouse yan? O, huwag yung magmadali, darating tayo dyan. You just understand first and make your basic pattern for the front and the back, and then later we go with the skirt. Pag dinugtong natin yung skirt sa katawan, we can now shape designs na blouse na hanggang hip length, we can make a straight dress, so we need, of course, to have the skirt pattern. But for the meantime, we have the front and back patterns first. Maliwanag po. Naintindihan. Okay. And anyway, napansin ko, we can go back naman dun sa video every now and then. Pasensya na lang muna sa mga blo mga bloopers, no? Mga bloopers or bloopers. Live po kasi tayo. Anyway, so we have accomplished our objectives. Now, why I did why do I have to include objectives? Kasi iniisip ko baka makatulong sa mga teachers, naglagay na rin ako ng objectives para mabawas-bawasan naman kanila pag-iisip na paggawa ng objectives, na 
remember when we make objectives, we have the cognitive, the psychomotor, and the affective. So, doon lang kasimple ang ginagawa kong mga objectives. Uh, so, I hope this will help. And you can also make your own objectives. Depende yan sa inyong field. No? Basta ang importante, we are able to deliver the lesson to our students for them to understand and for them to make this accurately. Okay? Any more questions? May comments ba? Mayroon bang mga violent reactions? Okay lang. Angie Tam, na mismo rin magturo. Ah, yeah, Angie. Yes, right. Actually, that's why I did this. Kasi talaga, na-miss ko talaga ang magturo sa homing anamics, especially skills. Kasi alam ko, hindi lahat merong skills na ganito. And I don't want to leave this world na hindi ko man lang ma-impart sa iba at ma-ikalat. Sayang naman kasi. Siyempre, pag natabong na na tayo ng bato, wala na tayong silbi. So before that happens, ma-share ko muna sa inyo, and then ripple effect na, i-share nyo sa mga estudyante ninyo. And the good part of doing this, wala na po akong sinetsika na project ninyo isa-isa at patterns ninyo mga mali-mali isa-isa. Ay, kidding aside, basta ang mahalaga ay, ay nakakapagturo ako. Yes, yes, Angie, very much. I really miss teaching. Alam mo naman, ang teacher, at saka ako madaldal. Hindi ako pwedeng tahimik, no? Anyway, ano pa po ang inyong gustong itanong? Kung halimbawa ang... Okay, meron pa ba kayong gusto itanong? Eh, kasi meron akong tinitinang guy, baka masobra na ko sa oras. Eh, okay, meron pala nag-comment na mahaba daw. Please bear with me kasi itong aking tinuturo ay skills. Alam niyo naman, hindi ito pwedeng putol-putol, no? I have to finish one area. So, kung medyo mahaba man, pasensya kasi madalgo talaga si teacher. Maraming kwento-kwento, okay? Now, for your assignment, I would like you to practice using the five measurements, doing these things. Para paglipat natin doon sa next episode, eh medyo hindi na kayo naguguluhan sa front and back. Huh? So, please don't forget to, to subscribe to my YouTube. Thank you, my dear son, Christian. Ginawan po ako na YouTube. Ang pangarap ko maging artista ay natupad na po. Dahil meron na po ako YouTube, makikita na nyo po araw-araw. Hindi nga lang po umaarte, hindi nga lang po umiiyak, but I am sharing you my skills. Please subscribe to my YouTube, Dressmaking Made Easy, Narlene Yosores. May nakalagay doon na Lalin's Project. Ang ganda-ganda ng picture to doon, ha? Ginawa din yun ng aking beautiful daughter-in-law na si uh, RJ Navarro. Huh? And also, may, may other daughter-in-law si Ina. Ibinolunteer na po ako magturo sa mga friends-friends niya. Yes, uh, Christian, ano question? May question si Ami Carlos. Paano daw kapag binig? Oh, Ami, we will go to that later on. Basic pattern pa lang po tayo. Don't worry, Ami. Hanggat kaya ko, I will be teaching all of you my my secret in dressmaking. From pattern making to pattern designing to pattern styling to uh, even pattern of dress assembling. Huwag ka magalala. Huwag kang madali ko. Naman sister, huwag madali eh. Don't worry. After this, skirt and the sleeves, and then we go to transferring the darts to different position. Isasama na natin dyan ang different shapes of the neckline. Okay? Kasi ang neckline, may binabagayan din yan. No? Kung mga bagay ba sa'yo yung V-shape, U-shape, may parang patay na tawag na heart shape. Yan. Later on, I will teach you how to design the neckline. No? And also, I will teach you how to transfer the darts to different positions para meron kayong shoulder waistline, armhole waistline, side or friends dart to waistline, or uh, yeah, friends dart waistline, uh, meron pa rin tayong neck, neck dart to waistline dart, or maaari namang isang dart lang para natin tatanggalin yung isa. Isa-isa lang po. Abby, thank you for watching. Meron pa pong tanong? Kaya gusto ko yung live eh, kasi interaction agad tayo. But anyway, you can go back to the YouTube every now and then. Si Normita Rosol, nagtatara siya, pwede makahingin ng procedures via messenger. Ah, yeah, yeah. My son will be in charge. So sa gusto ko higihin ng procedure, my son will be in charge of sending them to you. I am at the moment finishing my book about this para naman uh, makatulong sa mga maguro. Hindi maaaring sabihin na hindi nga siya yung kagandang-gandang libro because most of the lectures in my book 
are the lectures that I have given when I was teaching. Kung mag share even the drawings. Misa, merong mga drawings na copy-paste ko from other references, but more of the drawings are my hand drawings. Kasi magaling ako mag-drawing. Para sa akin, magaling ang drawing ko. Ewan ko sa inyo kung magaling ang drawing ko para sa inyo. But nevertheless, I have all the illustration. Okay. Yan, ang, yan ang aking forte. Drawing-drawing, pag may time. And then I will also teach you the pinaka-simplest of sketching and drawing your um, desired design. Huh? Simply lang. Kasi I, I took fine arts but I forgo kasi the force, family first. Pero yung basic-basic drawing, I can share with you. Okay? So for now, before we end, uh, let us have a short prayer to thank God for all the blessings. All right, in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, thank you for our friends and for the hands that you have given us, the hands that we create and make others happy and beautiful. We thank you for giving all this to be shared to all my friends, to all my students, far and wide, and Thank you, Lord, for sending all of these people to watch and learn and appreciating this work of thy hands. All this, Lord, I pray that you also keep them safe, especially now that we're uh, experiencing COVID, and make their time worthwhile while waiting for us to be around and to go around and go back to our respective offices. Thank you very much, Jesus. And all this, we give back to you, all for your glory. And allow us, Lord, to meet. To allow us to meet us, to meet again. And all this, we ask in your mighty name. Thank you, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. In unity with the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Mama Mary, we love you. Papa Jesus, we love you. God the Father, we love you. Thank you very, very much. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, see you. And I hope you like my attire for today. And I hope uh, I'm just thinking what will I be wearing next meeting. Is it alright with you if we see on Monday again? Kasi ang schedule ko sa aking anak ay Monday and Saturday. For Monday, we will be discussing the skirt and the sleeves. Yan, apat na. Okay? Okay? Thank you very much. And have a nice day. Ah, meron pa lang. Uh, Angie Tabo. Kailan ulit ang demo? Oh, Angie Monday, same time, alas gis. Sorry pala, medyo nalate kami kasi iayos pa yung, alam mo naman, ang, ang mga takeies. No? Ito ang problema sa mga online teaching. No? Ako naman, sinishare ko lang kasi mga teachers, papakailangan nyo ito. I hope this will help you. And please don't hesitate to subscribe to my YouTube. You ask there, you make comments. No? Sasagutin namin yan. Kasi excited din akong tingnan kung meron akong mga fans. No? Bye-bye! See you! Uh, I will keep on reading all, all your comments and we'll try to answer them. Okay? Bye-bye, friends! Love you, friends!